G'day, welcome to the Nerdy Dad channel and the Nerdy Dad review of the first episode of Miss Marvel. Look, this episode was directed by Adil El Abi and Bilal Falah. I'm on the fence about this series after the first episode, but to talk about why, we need to go into some very mild spoilers. Most of what I'm going to talk about is obvious from the trailer anyway, but if you do care about spoilers, however mild, come back to this video after watching the episode. I will start by getting the obvious out of the way. I'm clearly not a teenager, female, or someone from a South Asian background. But I have absolutely no problems with the MCU introducing a character that is all of these things. I like other iterations of Kamala Khan that I've read and played. Look, most recently I thought Kamala's story was by far the best part of the recent Square Enix Avengers game. I'm just not quite sure of this Kamala yet, all the story being told. With the sheer volume of material that the MCU has put out, there eventually had to be something I didn't like. But to be fair, this show's only had one episode so far, so I'm happy to wait and see if it turns itself around for me. And it could turn itself around as we get deeper into the story. But we'll wait and see. But so far, Miss Marvel's exactly what I thought it was going to be from the trailer, and I'm not sure that I like it. It felt to me more like a teen drama than a superhero story, more like Disney Channel than MCU. And if that's what you like, more power to you, but it's not to my taste. Kamala dreams of the idea of superheroes before she is one. Look, that's always been the character. I just didn't like the way it was visualised in this show. In the end, it just comes down to taste and it didn't hit me the right way. The big drama of this episode is Kamala getting to AvengerCon. That's it. To be fair, this episode is all set up. All about letting us know what Kamala's life was before she gets superpowers. And the post credit scene does give me hope that the story is going to gather some pace going forward. And I'm hoping that I'm more engaged once that does happen. Look, something that hasn't always been the character is her powers and how she got them. To be fair, we don't yet know what's going on with her powers. Is the power in the bracelet? Or did the bracelet activate some latent powers, a la Inhuman Exposed to Terrigen? Or is there some other explanation that's not immediately obvious? And what's with the powers beyond in beginning? I'm hoping there's story reasons for both of these things that make them worthwhile. I don't like changes for the sake of change. However, I'm all for making changes that make the story work, so we're going to have to wait and see what happens. Look, I'm going to continue watching the show, but I don't enjoy giving negative reviews, so whether I continue to do episodic reviews or not, Depends on how much I enjoy the episodes going forward. If I don't end up doing week-to-week -week reviews of the show, I will probably still do a wrap-up at the end, talking about the show as a whole, and how Miss Marvel is going to tie into the MCU as a whole. Because she is going to tie into the MCU. If nowhere else, Kamala Khan Miss Marvel is going to appear in the Marvels alongside Carol Danvers Captain Marvel and Monica Rambeau Photon. Look, until next time, this is the Nerdy Dad, Signing off.